Hello everyone, Tony, take your magic wand and your robe. Today we are going to practice some magic tricks. Dear viewers, if you see this caption on the screen, you should pause the video and tell us in the comments how do you think the trick is done. After that, we are going to explain the trick ourselves. So, expectulus patronobulus, hmm, or something like that. Anyway, let's start. So, we need two empty glasses. We are going to place a little ball in one of them. Pretend to pour water from one glass to the other. There's no water, of course, but the little ball goes up. Whoa, magic! Actually, it's a pretty easy trick. You just need to tie the ball to your clothes with an invisible thread. You can buy one in a special magic shop. To do the trick, just move the glass away from your body. The thread will tighten making the ball seem to float. Now, dear friends, we are going to teach you how to make different objects hover in the air. To do it, we need an aquarium. We are going to place a foil boat that we made beforehand inside. And look what happens. It's floating. Look, real magic. Or is it? Actually, this is possible thanks to physics and a gas that is filling the aquarium. It is known as Krypton, and it's three times heavier than air. Thanks to this, our boat doesn't sink and instead floats in the air. You can easily do this trick at home if you manage to find this gas, but you should know that it is really expensive. For our next trick, we are going to need a piece of paper. First, we tear the paper in front of our viewers. Keep tearing until all there's left are little pieces of paper. Now, take the little pieces in your hand, tell some magic words, and slowly take a whole sheet out of your hand. Voila, it's back to normal. Truth be told, there's no magic here. To do this trick, you are going to need two similar sheets of paper. Fold one sheet of paper and attach it to the corner of the other sheet. So, once you tear the sheet in little pieces, you will have another sheet completely whole, which you just have to unfold and wait your deserved ovation. Friends, remember, before you show these tricks to your friends, you have to train a lot. The idea behind an illusion is that the viewer should not guess how it was done. That's how people start believing in magic. Tell us in the comments below if you know any cool tricks. The best comment would be featured in the next episode. And if our video gets 5,000 likes, Tony will start believing in miracles too. Until next time, bye bye!